Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And I'm excited about being able to come to you today. You know, with the scheduling of late, uh, I've been kind of in and out. And, uh, and I'll tell you, I've missed you big time. But I'm grateful for this opportunity to invite you to join me tonight here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for our weekly Bible study. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, Bible study. And uh, I'm so excited about teaching the Word of the Lord tonight. And I'm excited about those who have joined us on television. Uh, we're hearing from you. Uh, thank God that the, whether it's a Facebook Live, YouTube Live, our television audience, I was somewhere the other day and uh, I saw a gentleman and he said to me, he walked up to me and said, Bishop, how you doing? And I said, I'm fine, sir. How are you? He said, well, sir, I'm fine, but I'm rushing to my car right now. And, uh, and I said, uh, uh, for what? And he said, because I'm on my lunch break. I take a late lunch so that I can catch your radio broadcast. And so whether it's radio, television, uh, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, or here live in the sanctuary, my friends, I want to tell you, there is an audience for God's truth. People are standing on the word of God. People are coming from near and far uh, to hear the word of the Lord. Couples come in, and I've told you about this uh, before. We've had couples to come in from literally, people come from literally all over the country uh, without even, without notice. They, they make their way, and many times they say, we've watched you for one year, we've watched you for, for two years, and we just got our chance to, to fly into Raleigh, to drive into Raleigh, to come and to hear the word of the Lord in person, and I thank God that, uh, that people are willing to drive from near and far to come at their own expense to hear God's truth. My friends, God's truth is worth it. God's word is right. And the word of God is settled in heaven. I just preached a message entitled this past Sunday, Motivated by Molech. And it, and it deals with how uh, even in this day and time, we're living in a day where it seems that people are riled up. And there are people of, of various political persuasions who are making the killing of the unborn. Can you believe it? The killing of the unborn uh, front and center of their uh, campaigns. Gone are the days of uh, President Bill Clinton who said that he wanted to keep abortions safe, legal, and rare. Well, with we'll safe, safe for whom? There is no, uh, that you can't have a safe abortion uh, for a baby. Um, and uh, uh, the Supreme Court uh, made it legal in 1973, but thank God we've lived to see uh, that overturned, but that doesn't uh, make abortion illegal. I wish that it did, but the Dobbs decision doesn't render abortion illegal. Uh, even in this state, up to 20 weeks, a woman can still uh, end the life of her unborn baby. And I'm doing everything I can and praying and working with others to see if we can't change that. But notice this, gone is the, is the stipulations of it being rare. Oh, more and more uh, politicians are for it up to the day of birth. And my friends, you should ask your favorite politician, male or female, Republican or Democrat or independent, if they are for the killing of the unborn, ask them. The next time you go and hear their campaign, the next time you're part of a Q&A, how late is too late? How developed is too developed? How far gone in the, uh, 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 is the child in the womb before you would say it's too late to end that life? You'd be surprised at the response that you would get. You will be surprised at the response that you will get. There is an evil spirit. It is the spirit of the God Molech that is dominating society today. And I want to say to the believers who are watching this today, join me in prayer. Join me in activism. Let's fight for the lives of the unborn. And for everyone who is watching 
whose hue, whose color, whose race is equal to mine, you should do your homework and see that you are helping uh, destroy your own people. We are willing participants in our own demise. Margaret Sanger, the wicked founder of Planned Parenthood, applauds your efforts. And I don't want to do anything that Margaret Sanger would applaud. Now tonight we're going to be studying the Word of God and I'm excited about this study that God has given me. My friends, we are saved by grace. We are saved. We are, all of us who are born again, we are born again because of what Christ did on the cross plus Plus, nothing. Jesus paid it all, and all to him we owe. And thank God, thank God for the cross. Thank God for the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But does uh, the fact that we are justified by faith, saved by faith in Jesus Christ, justified by God the Father, does the fact that Christ paid it all, means then that there is nothing for us to do. No role for the believer to play. Does that mean that there is no life for the believer to live? Does that mean that the believer should not, in a practical way, walk in holiness and serve the God of the Bible and make a difference in this society. Does that mean that men ought not to be men and women ought not to be women and that we shouldn't raise our children uh, with moral uh, high standards? Does that mean that all lifestyles and all behavior is all right? Since Jesus paid it all, then there's no need uh, for us to uh, do anything or to try to live anything. And, uh, uh, and, and many are pushing this today. And I'm here to tell you, it does not mean that. It means that God have freed us to do. Glory to God, his will. Freed us to be free in Christ Jesus. Freed us to show the world how this thing is supposed to be done. Uh, in the privacy of our homes, in the way that we pay our bills, it, yes, in the public square, in politics, in everything. The Christian is called to be the example. We are the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. So join me here tonight, and I'm excited. The more I talk, the louder I get, Gary. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Join me here tonight as we walk in the scriptures together. And my friends, I'm praying for you, and I want to thank you for your prayers for me. Woo! I feel it. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I tell you, God has, uh, through the gospel and through this medium, allowed me to meet some of the finest people in the world. And many of you I've never personally met, but I want you to know I feel every one of your prayers. And I'm thankful for your support. And may God's choice blessings be yours and join me right here tonight for Bible study. <laughs> I don't know why I get so chuckled up about that. I guess, I guess we all get that Bible study is a big deal. The, the point is, no, I'm not inviting you for a big concert. No, you're not being invited tonight for uh, uh, <laughs> the multitude of things that we invite people for. That probably won't be a, sh uh, a praise break. You know, we probably won't go to running around the walls. We're not going to be feeding. There won't be a raffle. It's just Bible study. God bless you. Thank you very much.